Hi guys, Dorothy here. I'm a professional astrologer. Find me on the web at nhastrologer.com. Today I'm going to give you the weekend forecast for June 1st, 2nd and 3rd. So stay with me. We have some really great inventive, emotional, intuitive things going on over the weekend. So it's a lot of fun. So stay with me. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Let's get started. Friday, June 1st, Mercury in Gemini. Wow, overload on information. He's making a trine aspect to Mars in Aquarius, right? So this is all air energy. Trust your intuition today. If you are inspired to do something, just do it. Don't think twice. Mercury in Gemini is moving along very, very fast right now and connecting in just, it only take one day and he's out of there, but connecting with Mars and Aquarius is that high thinking mind, that hive mind. So, and it's also our intuition because intuition comes from recognizing the things that are going on around us. So it's very intelligent. So trust your intuition today. Now we also have Venus. It's another completely different energy going on here. So we have all this energy in their head. We can see things, we can gr make great choices and be very quick and fast at doing things. But then Venus is in Cancer, caring and nurturing energy. She makes a try and aspect to Jupiter and Scorpio, which is, in, which is deeply digging into what is going on behind the scenes. Tomorrow on the 2nd, she will also make a trine aspect to Neptune and Pisces. So what we have between Friday and Saturday, and it's all active now anyways, is a grand trine in water. Very sensitive. So while we have a lot of air energy going on, which creates that intuitive knowingness, we also have this beautiful grand trine in water, which gives us that love and that compassion and that easy understanding. And a lot of emotion can flow, but we can also feel very in tune with those around us, especially if we're being emotional. So when I have, when I see all, all this kind, this much water being activated all together, it is important again, to know your boundaries. If you're feeling like people are really coming in too close because you're overly sensitive, make sure you trust your instincts and get out of those situations if that works for you. Or if you're feeling overly emotional and you need comfort and compassion and love of those around you, then get into that environment too. So Friday is a really interesting day. It's a day I'm going to um, take my own advice and have important things to do on that day. So all of us can really trust that uh, what we're feeling is accurate and the intuition we have going on is pretty accurate too. So when we do get to Saturday, what is going on here as well through Friday and Saturday is the moon is moving. It's in Capricorn, which is logical, practical. It does not mean we are not emotional. I've just gone through a really tough time with losing a friend. I have a Capricorn moon and I cried a lot. And the thing is, it's like, you know, half, it's okay. Um, I'm working through it. Um, it. It's not the moon in Capricorn is cold. It's not. There is nothing cold about that moon in Capricorn. But when you have to stop and you have to do certain things because it is what's logical and practical, that's when that Capricorn moon comes in really handy. So since we have this grand trine in water, a lot of emotion with that moon in Capricorn, it'll be in Capricorn till Saturday night. Um, we have an opportunity to, you know, go into the waters, cry, feel emotional, but also be very logical and practical. And then moving on to later in the evening, so 6 p.m. on the East Coast, the moon in Aquarius throughout Sunday. Great day to learn astrology. Great day to have an astrology session. I have my days wide open, by the way, <laughs> if you want. But it is analytical. It connects with Mercury. It connects with the sun, connects with Mars, and late in the night in, with Jupiter. So all of the energies of that analytical moon is being activated throughout Sunday. So again, kind of like the... Mercury, trine Mars on Friday. This moon in Aquarius is connecting to all of those planets from Friday. So this is a wonderful weekend. If you're inclined to do a lot of brainstorming based on the things you know and where you want to get to that leading edge of your business, of your life, and whatever is important for you. All right. 
Now, quick little thing, I am teaching a class starts June 5th on the cyanotic cycle of the sun and the moon, which is the lunar phases. So this is a little more, um, it's beyond beginner, but let me know if you want to join. I still have plenty of seats since it's online. I can host a many. So let me know if you're interested. And I'm going to leave you with that. Come to my website, nhastrologer.com. Thank you very much and have a great weekend. Namaste.